Is Motion Array truly a one-stop shop for all of the video creation assets that you need, or is it not worth your time? Well, I signed up and I spent hours on it. This is what I found. Motion Array is owned by the Artlist Group, so a lot of the things that you see and hear on Artlist, you also see and hear on Motion Array just not everything. We're gonna talk a little bit more about that in a minute. This is a site that's put itself in a really unique situation. Instead of only offering motion graphic templates and presets or only offering stock footage or only offering stock sounds or royalty-free music, they offer all of it. Not only that, but they also have a web portfolio builder and an online video collaboration tool, the likes of Frame.io. All of this in one subscription. So really for $16 a month, which is what the annual subscription is on sale for right now, you're getting an insane amount of video creation and production business tools for a very small relative investment. And all of these assets are licensed to you for full commercial use all the way up to feature films. That's all great, but let's talk about the service. Let's start by talking about templates and presets. There are thousands of these available for your editing software of choice, whether that be Resolve, uh, After Effects, Premiere Pro, or Final Cut, they have it all. All these animated titles, graphic elements, and openers are high quality and they're easily customizable to fit your video. I also wanna mention that Motion Array has an Adobe extension to make working with the service way easier if you're using the Adobe suite. For me though, the most exciting collection of assets that Motion Array has available is their library of LUTs. They have thousands of lookup tables for color correction and having something like this available where you can see a bunch of different looks and try them out and just have thousands of options right at your fingertips is really awesome. But the templates and the presets and the LUTs, all of that is not where Motion Array stops. They have a bunch of other stuff. So let's talk about that as well. The audio library is pretty impressive. As I mentioned before, a lot of the same songs on Artlist can also be found on Motion Array, but not all of them. Motion Array's UI for music and sound effects, it's, I mean, it's not bad, but it could definitely use some work. It's very bare bones and there aren't many filtering options. It's sort of like Artlist's less talented little brother. Oh, and there's this really annoying watermark that does not go away when you're previewing songs, even if you have an active subscription to Motion Array. Like it just, it just plays. It goes away once you download the song, but it kind of drives me crazy when I'm trying to find music on the site without downloading it first. The same stuff goes for the video library. It's kind of like ArcGrid's little brother. All of the footage is high quality. It shares a lot of its footage with ArcGrid, but there isn't as much quantity and the browse features and the search features and the UI, it's all not great. So the theme with the music and the footage is that the assets are good, it's high quality, but the UI, it needs work for sure. Last note, Motion Array does have a bunch of really nice stock photos. I don't personally use stock photos much, but they're there and they're good. Now I've got some soft criticisms about the site, but I think it's important to remember that the site only costs $16 per month for all of the stuff I just mentioned and then some. So no, it can't reasonably be put up against its competitors that are far more expensive. That's comparing apples to oranges. However, in any type of business, whenever one company decides that they wanna become a one-stop shop for everything, two problems tend to arise. Number one, confusion of identity. The more a service does, the harder it is for the customer to know what they're getting. I know that if I go to Artlist, I'm gonna get amazing royalty-free audio. I know that if I go to Artgrid, I'm gonna get amazing royalty-free stock footage. And even though these two sites share a lot of their libraries with Motion Array, when I go on Motion Array, I'm in danger of being overwhelmed because there is just so much already on the site. The second problem is that a lack of specialization breeds mediocrity. If you try to be good at everything, it's practically impossible for you to be the best at anything. Motion Rate definitely suffers from this. The audio assets and their UI are good, but not great. The video assets and their UI are good, but not great. The website builder and video collaboration tools are good, but they're not great. The templates and presets UI, those are good. I would even say that those are great. But because of this, all of the other things, the video, the audio, the stock footage, all the website building stuff, that all kind of seems like a tacked on afterthought. It's something that's nice to have, but it, it doesn't feel like a specialty. So who is Motion Array for? 
I think it's a great place to find titles, motion graphics, and LUTs and presets. I think it would be good for YouTubers who do things like video essays where they need stock footage and titles and all of these things to tell their story. If you're that kind of YouTuber, yeah, you can use Motion Array and it'll give you everything you need. And for most YouTubers, it will give you everything you need, but for the most part, most YouTubers just need royalty-free music. But I think that most of all, it's actually a really good option for wedding videographers. Think about it, inside Motion Array, you have templates for titles at the beginning of your video, you have stock music, you have stock sound effects, there's LUTs for color correction, and there's even a simple website creation tool, which is really all you need as a wedding videographer. On top of that, you've got the video collaborating tool, which allows you to send off your projects and share them with people that you might be working with or get revisions. It's like everything that a wedding videographer needs all in one place. Bottom line, Motion Array is a decent amount of everything done pretty well for $16 a month. And if you're the type of person who needs all of these things, but you want them the best they can be, you're probably looking at a package of a bunch of different services that's gonna add up to over $80 a month. What do you think of Motion Array? Let me know in the comments below. If you have any questions, leave them down there. I'd be happy to answer them. Thank you so much for watching the video. I hope that this helped you out. If it did in any way, I'd appreciate a like below. And subscribe to the channel if you want to see more videos like this. I hope that you have a fantastic day, you stay creative, and you remember that you're an awesome human being. Peace out.